So good morning again. And uh, this is the morning of the fourth week where each week I'm talking about one of the five faculties. And the first three were faith, effort, and mindfulness. And this week it's uh, talking about samadhi, concentration. And the samadhi, uh, often translated into English as concentration, it's a fine translation, but I think it's uh, the word concentration a little bit limits the full meaning of what samadhi means in, in the practice we do. And samadhi has kind of two basic meanings. One is as a faculty, which is as a particular capacity function of the mind that becomes stronger and is utilized for the purposes of practice or really for anything. And the other uh, meaning of samadhi is uh, when that faculty is fully engaged and strongly present, then um, we have um, uh, samadhi is a state. Uh, a state. I think of it as a state of being. Some people might call it a state of mind. That um, it's an overall kind of uh, uh, state in which we're abiding in or feeling or it's, it's uh, existing through us, in us. It's kind of what our beingness is. A state of wholeness, a state of integration, a state of deep stability and steadiness, a kind of radiance of presence of, of, uh, that's quite wonderful. To be uh, centered in the state of samadhi uh, is to kind of find a almost like a sacred temple in which we live or exist within. To engage the faculty of samadhi is, in the simplest language, is to be focused on what we're doing. Um, so to really kind of use our ability to focus and exactly how we focus, there's many different choices of focus and what it might mean. So we have to be a little bit careful not to assume that if, if I use the word focus, that I mean exactly what you would use uh, the word for. Uh, for now, I'd like to uh, play a little bit with the English word concentration and, uh, and think of uh, samadhi as a faculty is the ability to become, for the attention, to center itself on something. So rather than focusing on something, it centers itself on something. And the difference is that for some people, focusing is a constricting. Focusing is a straining to kind of really look or be present. Whereas centering ourselves, um, at least in my use of the word, I imply the idea that we're resting in something or we're abiding in something or we're, 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 we're standing in the middle of something and uh, we're centered in it. And this whole, whole body being sense of t t standing in the middle of some experience, I think middle of something. Um, but we're not necessarily have to strain at it um, or f necessarily kind of with kind of mind's eye look at it, but rather uh, we, we kind of abide in it. We're really present for it in a full way. So this idea of focus or being centered has a lot to do with being um, uh, wholeheartedly engaged in what we're doing at the moment. And if what we're doing is um, using attention, using mindfulness to see what's happening, samadhi brings to mindfulness a sense of wholeheartedness, like just this. Just let's be centered on this right now. So if we're, if we're uh, doing mindfulness of breathing, then as a partner to mindfulness, concentration is this taking mindfulness and really wholeheartedly centering ourselves in the experience. A big part of uh, what goes along with this centering ourselves and experience is letting go. And that was one of the first um, lessons I received when I went uh, studied Buddhism in Thailand. I'm, for the first days I was there, I was staying at a monastery and I met a monk and uh, he was a little bit, um, uh, uh, he was talking about concentration and he said concentration is, the, the, Concentration is what you, uh, like, like into deep states of concentration, is what is attained 
by just letting go, just letting go, letting go. And he wanted to differentiate that from mindfulness was with a clear knowing of what the experience is. But for him, uh, any anytime you just let go thoroughly, you end up uh, in a state of concentration. And a little bit that's because uh, if we, we're really letting go of distractions, letting go of how we get fragmented, how we the mind goes off in all kinds of directions. And as we let go, there is a kind of letting go into this moment, just here with this. And as we let go into the moment, letting go more and more here, we're kind of like centering ourselves more and more, centering ourselves at the bottom of a bowl as the, as the balls, the marbles, kind of get quieter and quieter. They center at the, at the middle, at the center of the bowl. So, so uh, letting go, letting go. So letting go is not the same thing as samadhi, but letting go is one of the means of becoming concentrated in a way that's relaxed, in a way that we're not straining to get concentrated. It's more like we're allowing the mind's capacity to be focused, to arise or to manifest because we're getting rid of all the distractions from it, all the things that interfere with it. So there are these two things, aspects of samadhi practice or this faculty that supports it. One is the idea of focusing or being centered on the experience. And the other is to let go of the things that get interfere with that. If we don't let go, then there's a tendency f- to, uh, if people are cultivating samadhi, to uh, want to override the distractive forces by c- straining more and being stronger and more har- f- focusing, concentrating harder. Certainly concentration factor, this faculty can become stronger over time, and so the strength of it um, makes uh, distractions less and less attractive or less and less an issue. But until the mind is strong, to uh, try to use our strength to get focused and concentrated uh, can often be counterproductive. It can create a lot of strain and tension and a variety of things can go a little bit uh, wrong for people if they're trying too hard. So this idea of relaxing, relaxing and letting go into uh, the breathing, into what we're focusing on. So whatever we're centering ourselves on, sometimes it just means the present moment, uh, we're centering ourselves in the present moment. Uh, we're also letting go of what takes us away. We're relaxing so and relaxing into this moment. So not just relaxing tension, but relaxing into, settling into. And, um, and one of the principles of samadhi, uh, keep in mind, or one of the, is that a mind that has, uh, is concentrated is a soft mind. So uh, the idea is moving towards softer and softer, or more pliable, ma- more malleable. More, uh, another thing, uh, my mind that's concentrated is bright. It's kind of, there's a lot of clarity and calm in that mind. And so the very means by which we try to get concentrated, hopefully would have some of those qualities in it. We do, we'd have softness and malleability and um, calm and brightness or clarity as part of it. This is a lot of ideas to, encom- to incorporate all together, but I hope that it gives you a little bit of sense or idea of what is meant by samadhi and concentration and, and, um, and that the, the beginning process of becoming, of using this faculty and engaging it and becoming concentrated is um, this capacity to be centered on experience. And so there is an initiating step in concentration to center oneself on something and, um, or to focus, if you prefer that kind of language, and then, um, and then to let go of what gets in the way of it. The mind goes off and we center ourselves again here. And centering is a little bit different than mindfulness and that mindfulness is to know and stay present in a knowing way. Um, concentration is to uh, come back and not necessarily know the experience, but to rest in the experience, um, be centered in the experience that we have. And we do that over and over again, come back, and hopefully every time we come back to being centered, we figure out how to do that. The whole process of coming back, letting go, relaxing, centering, being focused, that whole process as we initiate the process of getting concentrated, it's important to experiment 
uh, with uh, how can you do that whole process so you enjoy it? How can you uh, be very forgiving, very allowing? And one of the ways to do that is to have very low expectation uh, that you're getting going to get concentrated. Have very low, don't try to be fast or hold on or cling. Give yourself lots of time, be very relaxed. Um, I think of the state of concentration when it occurs to me as a gift. And, uh, and so I'm not measuring myself or trying to attain it in a, in a kind of tight way or engineering way to engineer it, making it happen. I do my practice, I get centered, I stay present, and, um, and I let go into the experience more and more. And then with time it becomes, it's a, it, it, certainly there's a state of being settled, concentrated that occurs, and that feels like a gift, a wonderful gift. So I hope that uh, there's a nice kind of an initial kind of a discussion about this faculty of samadhi, and then we'll continue with this over the next four days. And, um, and um, may you find many ways today to find yourself centered uh, in your experience, in yourself. And may you enjoy that centering and yourself. Thank you so much, and I look forward to tomorrow. Bye-bye.